For thousands of years, Muslim women have left their marks on societies, changing the course of history at times and influencing significant spheres of life at others. Their inspiring stories, charismatic personalities, and determination to contribute to the development of their environment makes them beacons that guide young women and men today. Muslim women are challenging negative images and portrayals, defying labels and definitions, and breaking down harmful walls just by being themselves. There have been numerous stories in the last few years where many Muslim women were harassed for wearing hijab in public. Although the UK has no formal ban on hijab, it has always been looked upon as backward, primitive, and unsophisticated by the majority. So today, we bring for you the story of a British Muslim who broke all stereotypes connected with hijab and is now a renowned Muslim woman of today in the Western society. Meet Rafia Arshad, a 40-year-old zealous British-Pakistani Muslim who was appointed as the first ever hijab-wearing deputy district judge in the United Kingdom. She is a mother of three and has a vast experience of 17 years in law. Rafia's husband is a doctor and an Islamic scholar who completed a diploma in Islamic jurisprudence and coaching while working as a barrister. She received early education from grammar school in West Yorkshire. She was the first from her family to study at a university. And after gaining her law degree from Oxford Brookes University, Rafia worked as a barrister. In 2004, she joined St. Mary's Family Law Chambers. Judge Arshad is also the author of a book titled Family Islamic Law, as her expertise lies in family law. However, she's practiced in other fields, including private law, children, forced marriage, female genital mutilation, and cases with Islamic law issues. She says that it's definitely bigger than me. I know this is not about me. She says that her success is important for all women, not just Muslim women, but it's particularly important for Muslim women, says Rafi Arshad. The joint heads of St. Mary's Family Law Chambers praised her appointment. They called her appointment richly deserved and entirely on merit. The mother of three said, I'm a court-appointed expert on matters of Islamic family law, and I have authored many publications including a textbook, which is used by other judges worldwide. I've been invited to Germany and America to speak on Islamic family law. She said she took time, but finally overcame her apprehension of discrimination. She feared that her ethnic minority background and working class upbringing would cloud her progress in the field of law. But with unwavering tenacity, she continued to work in her field. Rafia is grateful to her parents and mentions how the prayers of her parents played the most integral role in her success. She felt proud of being counted as an outstanding Pakistani in the West. Judge Arshad went on to say that, It took a while to get here, but I'm so pleased. It's not just a personal achievement. It's a huge achievement for anyone from a diverse background. Judge Arshad said in her interviews with several British media outlets that she is overwhelmed by the messages of appreciation and encouragement from various men and women which is the real reward. For Rafia, prejudice and discrimination is a real predicament, and she still has to encounter discrimination despite her long career and vast experience. The judge says that people often misjudge her as an interpreter for a client in the courtroom. She referred to her latest incident when a court usher misjudged her as an interpreter. Rafia had turned up at the court to appear as a barrister in the case, but the court usher misinterpreted her and said to her, You must be the interpreter? Judge Arshad replied that she was not an interpreter, and the usher asked her again if she was there on work experience, to which she responded that she was the barrister. I have nothing against the usher who said that, but it reflects that as a society, even for someone who works in the courts, there's still this prejudicial view that professionals at the top end 
Don't look like me, she said. Judge Ashit thinks that often the imposter syndrome in women holds women back. Referring to her own experience, she said she often wonders if she's good enough when appearing for cases in courts. She said a defining moment once came in her life in 2001, when a family relative asked her not to wear a headscarf for an interview for the scholarship at the Inns of Court School of Law. The relative believed her headscarf would affect her interview, but she said that she decided to wear the headscarf anyways, because for her, it was important that people accept her the way that she is. If I need to become a different person to pursue my profession, it's not something I wanted, she said. She said in an interview to one of the news media page that my appointment is a celebration for all Muslim women. I'm delighted that I have broken the glass ceiling for many more capable Muslim women. At a time when everyone is facing uncertainty and unprecedented challenges, I urge everyone to rekindle their dreams and pursue them. Breaking stereotypes, Rafia highlighted how women could practice their religion and also succeed at the same time. Rafia Arshad hopes to be a trailblazer for other Muslim women. She believes her success would be tantamount to the success of other women. There are hardly any hijab-wearing judges in the entire Western world. Her example has further motivated serious other hijab-wearing Muslim women to excel in their respective fields and to not let their religious identity constrain their career prospects.